food webs, a way to show who's eating who and to see the flow of energy in an ecosystem. As remember, all the energy on Earth comes from the sun. The sun's energy is then captured through the process of photosynthesis inside the leaves of plants. The energy is stored inside of plants until something comes along and eats the plants. This arrow shows the flow of energy going from the plants into an organism that'll eat them. A fly is an organism that might eat the plants for food. So the energy that started in the sun and was transformed into plants is now been captured by the fly when the fly ate the plant. The energy will stay inside of the fly until something comes along and eats the fly. This red arrow shows energy going from the fly into an organism that would eat it. A frog is a consumer, and a consumer is anything that eats food. And a frog is a consumer that just might get its energy by eating flies. So it all started with the sun being passed into the plants, being passed into the fly, and then the fly passed its energy into the frog. But it doesn't stop there. The frog can pass its energy on too. A consumer that might get its energy from a frog would be a snake. Snakes have to eat too, and they get their energy by eating the frog, which has energy trapped inside of it from the fly, and the fly had energy from the plants. So food webs are all about showing the flow of energy. Well, what you saw was one chain, or one direction that energy can go. It continues on from plants. Maybe an underwater plant was eaten by a shrimp. <laughs> Then, the energy that the shrimp gained from eating the underwater plants can be passed into a big blue fish. The fish eats the shrimp, and the shrimp got its energy from the plants. But the flow of energy doesn't stop with the blue fish. The blue fish can pass its energy on to other organisms. A bear is a consumer that eats fish. Remember, consumers need to eat to survive. So the energy that's stored inside of the fish has now been transformed and is stored energy inside of the bear. But there are more than one things that eat fish for food. Maybe an organism such as a hawk would get its energy from eating the blue fish as well. So this shows two things that feed on fish for survival, the hawk and the bear. So take a look at the whole food web that we just created. A food web is just a way to visualize the feeding relationships of animals in an ecosystem.